So here we want to look at an example of a two-dimensional rigid body problem. So we have this beam which is supported by a pin at A. So this is a pin. And by a roller at B. And our objective is to find the reactions that are developed at this pin and the roller. So what we need to do is to draw a free body diagram uh, for this beam and show the reactions that are developed at A and B. And then we can start using our equilibrium equations. So I'm going to start with pin at A. So whenever we have a pin, we have two components of reaction, one in the x direction, I'm going to call it AX, and one in the y direction, I'm going to call it AY. And the direction I just picked arbitrarily to be the positive, and we'll see what happens to the direction in a minute. Roller, whenever we have a roller connection or support, uh, we only get one component of reaction, which is 90 degrees or perpendicular to the surface at which the uh, roller is acting. So in this case, since the surface is horizontal, 90 degrees to a horizontal surface would be in the y direction, by. Now, before I use my equilibrium equation, let me take this 500 pound at that slope, at that angle, and break it into two components, one in the x and one in the y. The one in the x is going to be 500 times 3 fifth based on that slope, so 300 pound. The one in the y similarly would be 500 times 4 fifth, 4 divided by 5. So that would be 400, kind of like multiplying by sine and cosine of angle. Okay, so notice that we have three unknowns here, AX, AY, and BY. So a in a typical statically determinant uh, two-dimensional problem, rigid body problem, we only have three equations that we can use, namely sum of the forces in X must be equal to zero, sum of the forces in Y must be equal to zero, and sum of the moment but any point of your choice has to be equal to zero. So let's go ahead and apply these equations to find these unknowns. Okay, starting with the X equation, you see this is really simple. Uh, so if I pick this by positive direction, sum of the forces in X equals zero, notice we have AX and we have 300, which is also in the positive direction. So notice that uh, AX has to be equal to negative 300, which means then you can pick any direction for your unknown reactions, we assumed AX is pointing to the right. If you get negative answer, that means you were wrong about the assumption. Your assumption is wrong, and in fact, you just have to switch the direction. So the 300 pound, the unit is pound, is pointing actually to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and try to find another unknown. Uh, let, let me skip some of the forces in y equals 0 because if you use that, you're going to have ay and by in that equation. But let's go to the moment equation. A good point to take moment about would be a in this case. And the reason for that is because at a we have two components of reaction acting, ax and y, ay, and then as a result, those two reactions don't have any moment about a, which is good. So we have by times 10, which is going counterclockwise. Remember the definition of moment F times D. Then we have the moment of the 400, which is going to be 400 times 5 feet, going clockwise, trying to rotate clockwise about A. So that would be negative. Because, by the way, I forgot to say that I assume that counterclockwise is positive. So I'm doing this equation based on that assumption. And then finally, don't forget the 600 pound foot, which could be added or subtracted. In this case, subtracted because it's uh, clockwise. So here we solve for Vy, and Vy comes out to be 260 pound. And because we got a positive, that implies the direction is okay, and Vy in fact is acting up. So now let me go to the next page and finish this up by calculating the, uh, or determining uh, our final reaction, Ay. But we're left with one equation, sum of the forces in Y equals zero. I want to go back to the last page and show you that here we have Ay and we have 400 and By. So Ay, By positive up and 400 going down. So Ay plus By minus 400 equals zero. 
Now keep in mind that by is already determined and it's 260. So this gives me an ay of 140 pound, which is again comes out to be positive, which means it's acting in the positive direction or the assumption is right. So one last thing guys, after you find ax and ay, you could actually what find what we call resultant pin reaction. And resultant pin reaction actually is the resultant of ax and ay. So remember your ax came out to be 300 to the left, 300 pound. And AY, we just determined it now, 140, a little bit less than half. So you see this resultant of this, I can call F sub A. And F sub A is called resultant pin reaction. And we can easily calculate that by taking each component and square it and add them up. 300 squared, 400 squared, negative 300, doesn't matter, you you squaring it anyways. So we get 331 pound roughly. And that's called the resultant pin reaction, which is useful later on when you're trying to find shear loads and things like that.